Welcome to day 14. We've completed now, after praying today, two weeks in our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Our word for today is the word intercept. Intercept. Uh, I know that it's, uh, it's easier to deal with things before they actually break loose. If we can intercept a problem, if we can get in the way quickly and stop something before it starts, then, then we can minimize any damage or even uh, erase the effect of whatever that might happen to be. If we intercept a missile that is uh, headed our way and that missile is intercepted in the air, then it can't do any damage at all. It can't do what it was designed to do. It won't harm us. It can't hurt us as long as it's intercepted. So what we want to do today is we want to believe God to use us uh, in a way that uh, we're kind of familiar with. And we know that when uh, missiles are launched from an enemy, uh, our military has weapons and it has uh, an arsenal that will allow us to intercept it in the air before it actually gets to the earth and can kill people and do damage. And let's rise up now as uh, a missile from God that will intercept what the enemy is trying to send into the earth to destroy people's lives. Here's what the scripture says in Matthew 18. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. You may be uh, gathered uh, today with uh, your family. Uh, you may be with your spouse. There may be others there with you. If there are two or three, even just two or three, we don't have to all be together in a big church service, but we can be together in twos and threes. We know that God's power is going to manifest. His presence is going to touch our lives. So let's pray now, binding things, intercepting things that the enemy has planned during these days. Along with this coronavirus, there is the unleashing of all different types of demonic missiles that are being directed at the people all over the world, in every nation, to wreak havoc, to cause chaos, to create pandemonium, to release all of the demons that are, are, are ready to attack human beings in the earth. Let's intercept the, the powers of darkness. Let's intercept them in the, in the spirit realm, in the heavenly realm, and cut them off before they can execute their plans in the earth. Join with me as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind the release of fear. We bind the release of every evil thing, disease, death, destruction, everything that the enemy is loosing on the earth today. We bind it in the name of Jesus. And those things that are planned for the days ahead, we frustrate those plans now in the mighty name of Jesus and declare that those missiles from the enemy, those evil plans, will fall to the ground now in Jesus' name. Let them explode in midair before they have a chance to hurt people and destroy here in the earth. Lord, we thank you that you provide us with our covering. You are able to deliver us from every evil thing. And Lord, as we join together in agreement, in prayer, binding those things which ought not to be, which we absolutely uh, cannot allow. As we bind them in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you honor our prayers and great power, great authority is released, Lord, in response. So thank you, Lord, for covering us today. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us today to intercept things by faith in the spirit realm that would cause harm and destruction to the earth. Lord, bless our nations. Bless our, our peoples. Lord, wherever they may be, all across the globe, Lord, be merciful and be gracious. And Lord, cover us, protect us, shield us, O oh God, from every evil thing we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you as you pray and continue to pray. Let's continue to cut things off as God brings things up in your heart. And you begin to maybe just see something or sense something or feel something. Uh, don't hesitate to step in and intercept those things which you sense the enemy is sending to cause harm and destruction, to induce panic and fear. Don't hesitate to step in 
and use the power and the authority that God has given to you to intercept those things, bind them, and cast them out in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for praying with me today.